students please note down these notes have been uploaded in the description of video please download your notes dear students in this lecture i will clear skin or integument of rat mammals note down skin or integument that is also named jack of all trades because skin involves in protection excretion secretion it is a sensory organ as well as it acts as homeothermal organ because it involves in regulation of body temperature so skin or integument is named jack of all trades dear students in case of rat in case of mammals this integument it has two reasons this outer thin region it is epidermis and this inner thick region is it is dermis epidermis it is outermost it is thin layer and this epidermis it is ectodermal in origin because it is derived from embryonic ectoderm and this epidermis it is stratified because it consists of several layers generally in case of rat the epidermis having five layers this innermost layer dear students this innermost layer of epidermis that is stratum germinativum or it is malpighian layer it says a simple cuboidal which undergo mitotic division so these cells give rise new cells it means the dead worn out cells are replaced by the mitotic mitotic divisions of this stratum germinativum dear students this lowermost layer it is stratum germinativum which rests on basement membrane this is the only layer which rests on basement membrane this stratum germinativum or it is small pigeon layer it gives rise all glands of skin as well as this corneum this outer dead part of skin that is derived from stratum germinativum next layer is stratum spinosum just above this stratum germinativum next layer it is stratum spinosum it is a thick layer which consists of flattened cells next is stratum granulosum dear students stratum granulosum just above this stratum spinosum next layer is stratum granulosum that is a characteristic feature of palms and soles and dear students the cells of this stratum granulosum and these cells contain special granules of keratohyaline next layer is stratum lucidum just above this stratum granulosum the fourth layer it is stratum lucidum the cells are clear and these stratum lucidum cells which contain a shining pigment that is led which makes this stratum lucidum as a refractile and shiny layer next layer outermost layer that is stratum corneum or it is horny layer this layer consists of dead cells keratinized cells it is stratum corneum or it is horny layer and its outer surface that consists of minute pores through these pores the sweat gland opens as well as hair follicles come out dermis this inner part of skin 
that is thick it is mesodermal in origin as it is derived from embryonic mesoderm and dear students this me f this dermis this inner part that dermis consists of fibers bundles of white fibers and the white fibers are made up of collagen so these are collagen fibers as well as it consists of elastic fibers which are made up of elastin protein these are elastic yellow fibers these yellow fibers are found singly these are elastic in nature while these white fibers collagen fibers these are found in bundles and these are made up of inelastic collagen protein in dermis the blood vessels as well as lymph vessels are present nerve fibers and the muscle fibers also present here the hair follicle and the hair is connected with this erector pili muscle not down competitive exam student this erector pili muscle which associate with this skin hair this is the smallest body muscle erector pili muscle the nerve spline is well developed in case of dermis and in the matrix of dermis several cells are present this one is melanocyte it is a pigment containing cell that secretes melanin this one is mast cell mastocyte and this important cell of this matrix mast cell that secretes some useful chemicals like heparin that is a natural anticoagulant which prevents clotting coagulation of blood as well as this mast cell it secretes the matrix of connective tissue this mast cell it secretes histamine that is an inflammatory substance which involves in the dilation of blood vessels as well as this mast cell competitive exam students note down each and every point this mastocyte also secretes serotonin that constricts the blood vessels it means the serotonin increases blood pressure another cell is that is fibroblast as name indicates is fibroblast that is present in this dermis which involves in the formation of these white fibers yellow fibers it means the fibroblast these are fiber forming cells in this dermis another type of cells these are adipocytes not down adipocytes fat cells fat storing cells and just below the dermis this subcutaneous tissue is there that subcutaneous tissue consists of lobules of fat or adipose cells adipocytes so it is named paniculus adiposus dear students this is all about skin integument or it is jack of all trades in case of rat in case of mammals in case of mammals this dermis it is best developed and dear students this entire skin having two parts is outer thin part which is ectodermal in origin it is epidermis which is derived from embryonic ectoderm it is stratified because it consists of several layers and these layers are further divided into five layers lowermost is stratum germinativum next to it it is stratum spinosum having thick and flattened cells then stratum granulosum having granules of keratohyaline next to it another stratum lucidum a clear layer shining layer refractile layer that consists of elidine granules 
and this outermost dead layer it is horny layer it is stratum corneum that consists of minute pores through which the sweat glands these are sudoriferous gland opens as well as through these pores hair follicles comes open this dermis which consists of several cells nerve fibers muscle fibers blood vessel lymph vessel and the fibers collagen fibers yellow fibers and beneath this dermis subcutaneous adipose tissue layer is there it is paniculus 